Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Deleted Scenes from Sunday Sermon. Today's topic, the imperishable Word of God. Listen to what the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. And we also thank God continually, because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as the word of men, but as it actually is, the word of God, which is at work in you who believe. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, the Apostle Paul is giving glory to God for the ways that the Thessalonian believers had received the Word of God. Not as a word from man, but as it really is, as the Word of God. And he goes on to say that the Word of God is at work in those who follow Jesus Christ. Now today I want to talk to you about the way that the Word of God is at work inside of us. Now the Bible compares itself to many powerful images. The Bible compares itself to a lamp that we hold out in front of us and lights our way. The Bible compares itself to a sword that we can use in our spiritual battles to defend ourselves. And the Word of God is used as a mirror that we can hold up to our faces and we can see what is out of place. And the Word of God also describes itself as a seed that is planted in our hearts. Look at the way the Apostle Peter describes it in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable seed through the living and enduring Word of God. Here, the Word of God is compared to an imperishable seed. Now, when it comes to food, we have food that's perishable and we have food that's non-perishable. Take, for example, these bananas I got from my backyard. As you can see, some of them are still green, but others of them are already ripe. And actually, they're starting to turn black and eventually they'll become slimy, not taste as good, attract all kind of fruit flies, and will eventually rot away. But what God has planted inside of us, what that is going to produce is a fruit that is always ripe and never rotting away. And how do we knew, know that? Because God has planted in us an imperishable seed. Yes, the birds may try to come and swoop it away. Yes, the sun might try and scorch it away. Yes, the thorns and, and the weeds might spring up and spread out and try to choke that good seed away. But we can have the confidence that's not going to happen to those who follow Jesus Christ because God has sent a laborer to plant that seed in our hearts. And God has sent that same laborer to water that seed. And the same God who sent a laborer to plant it and water it is the same God who has promised to eventually cause that seed to grow and to produce a harvest. You see, we as Christians can have this confidence because the laborer who's done all the work of salvation that God has sent into this world is Jesus Christ. So this is an invitation for us to receive the Word of God, to allow the Word of God to be planted and take root in our hearts, to allow that seed to break open and to produce a seedling, to allow it to grow into a plant and eventually produce a harvest that will never spoil or rot away. 
And how can we be sure that this will happen? Well, the grass withers and the flower fades. But the word of the Lord stands forever. Thank you for tuning in and may God richly bless you.